Hello everybody, welcome back to the channel. I am Mad Capper and this is another video on Raid Shadow Legends. And today we want to talk about Duchess Lilitu. In the news today, and we'll go into the news right now, take a look. Playroom has announced boosted summoning rates. This has happened before, this is going to happen again. And here we are with Duchess Lilitu. She is a uh, Spirit Affinity legendary and from 3 a.m. Central Standard Time today, to 3 a.m. Central Standard Time tomorrow, you have a 10 time chance to pull her. That sounds amazing. 10 times the chance to pull Duchess of Latu. Now, we gotta talk about two things here. We gotta talk about, is she worth it? And is it worth it? First one, is she worth it? Let's quickly go into the demon spawn. I'm not gonna spend a whole lot of time going through her kit. I'm just gonna tell you that she has this amazing ability which reduces AOE attacks by 25%, 15% bosses, and when they're under perfect veil, or any under under any kind of veil, it's 40%, 25% for bosses. Keep in mind, this also means if you have a secondary champion that also places veil, this is absolutely applies, even if she's not the one casting the veil. She has a revive all dead that puts a perfect veil for one turn. She has a uh, one that just places a 15% increased attack, a block debuffs, and a perk veil on all allies but her. So that means that every ally but her is taking ridiculously reduced AoE damage whenever a perfect veil is up. And because she is a support hero with really good HP and defense to start, or at least pretty good, you're gonna build her with a ton of sustain and a ton of defense, and she's gonna be able to survive through just about any nuke that comes her way. And then she's gonna be able to revive all allies and then make you pay for it because now her allies are back alive. You've burned your your biggest AOE damage dealing uh, abilities and now it's her turn. It's the team's turn and she's got high attack champions with her that are going to kill your team. That is the general way to use her. She is absolutely god tier in arena. I fear her, a well built duchess, I fear more in the arena than a well built torment simply because this isn't RNG. This is what happens. I have uh, I have a ethos that's pretty well built for damage, and I have a skull crown that's decently well built for damage. And when I go up against high high uh, defense teams, I want to use both of them. So I walk in there with Arbiter and uh, Madame Siri and both skull crown and ethos. So I am I am boosting to go first. I am uh, taking down their defense and I'm hitting them with two very large AoE's nukes. And if it's a well-built Duchess, she lives. And if she lives, she revives her team. If she revives her team, my highest AoE damage is, is, is spent. I now have relatively weak AoE damages and then they come back and they kill me. It's what happens all the time. It's an absolute pain. Definitely Tormund is, is a, a great way to counter her because of all the different buffs she's putting up that you have the opportunity to freeze. But uh, she is still a pain to deal with. And if she has both a Tormund and Duchess on a defense team, it's absolute cancer. She's a great champion. She's also, if you think of those same things, that reduction of AoE, she's great against pretty much every uh, dungeon. She has a two-hit A1, so yes, she can be good against the Fire Knight. It's mainly about getting your champions to the Fire Knight. Uh, she's good against Ice Golem. Ice Golem has a very hard-hitting AoE. And she's going to ridiculously reduce that damage when they're on uh, a Veil. When you think of Dragon, she's going to get through those traps. The, all the enemies uh, leading up to the Dragon are single-target enemies. She's going to make them hit her. She's going to be tanky. She's going to get you through. Absolutely great. She's absolutely worth getting and booking and leveling and the whole nine yards on any team you have. Now, is it worth it? This requires a little bit more conversation. So typically I outright say no, no, and here's why. The math is not changed. There is a 10 time chance to pull her if you pull a legendary. Now, if you pull a legendary from ancient shards, it's a 0.5 chance. If you pull it from a sacred, it's a 6% chance. That means you have to pull 200 ancients in order to hopefully get one legendary. That's the odds. Now you can pull five out of seven and then you can pull a thousand and get none because it is it is it's not a weighted chance it's not a a increasing chance so that if you pull 200 you're guaranteed one it doesn't work that way it's completely rng which means you have to get that uh 0.5 you have to roll uh, a 200 sided dice and you have to roll one and that's how it works 
Uh, Sacreds, it's a little bit better, but still pretty low. It's a 6% chance, about a 1 in, a one in 7, I, I guess, would be the best way to put it. 6% chance. You pull 100 eight Sacreds, you, uh, you'll get 6 Legendaries, is the, uh, is the average, okay? On top of that, the 10 time chance. So let's talk about 10 time chance. So say you pull a Legendary. There are 63 Legendaries that are non-void in the game. So normally, you have a 1 in 63 chance of pulling... Uh, Lilithu. 10 times means you've got a 10 in 72 because think of it as a big hat. You drop 62 other uh, non-void legendaries in there and then you pull, put 10 of her in there. Okay, so that's a 1 in 72. It's about a 13.89% chance currently, if you get a legendary, to get her. Okay, that's the 1 in 7, sorry. Uh, awful rounding. So... 14% chance to, to pull her um, from a legendary if you get it. And then you've got the race of legendary. That's going to work out to very minuscule numbers. Okay. Um, and in my opinion, 100% not worth it. I wrote the numbers down here. It's about a 0.83% uh, of a chance to pull it from a sacred shard. If you pull a Sega Shard, 0.83% chance that it's going to be her. If you pull a Ancient Shard, it's a 0.07% chance. I think my math is right. If it's wrong, you can let me know in the comments down below. The fact of the matter is, straight speaking of this ability, this thing, if you're aiming specifically specifically for Duchess Lilithu, you've got a you've got very low odds you're going to get her, um, and therefore I don't typically recommend her. Now. There is another uh, another thing, another factor to consider here. We have a summon rush going on at the same time. And unlike every other summon rush I've ever seen, this summon rush begs some attention. In this summon rush, you have, if you were to pull 140, I believe, is that is that right? No, it's uh, 30, uh, 350, is that that should be the number, right? 35.7, yeah. So if you were to pull 350 Ancient Shards, you would have like a 30% a, a or 20-some percent chance of getting Duchess Lilithu. But if you have those Shards and you want to pull and you're excited to pull, these are the best rewards after 1750 that I've ever seen Plarium give. I don't know. Someone can correct me if they've seen better. And obviously you have to pull 14 Sacred Shards. If you're going to pull 14 Sacred Shards, um, you might get a Legendary. I, the odds are you will get a Legendary. It's a it's a 6% chance. Um, go ahead. What you're going to get here, what you've got the opportunity to get, is four Legendary Skill Tomes, three Five Star Chicken, and an Epic Skill Tome. I still don't think it's worth it in the end when you just do the math and the money. But if you, like, I wouldn't buy the pack. The packs today are absolutely awful. Um, but if you are hell-bent on pulling, you might get a Duchess Little too. And those rewards are the best I've seen. So if you are a paying member of the community, and we're not talking $20 a month. If you are, I wouldn't necessarily have to be a whale. To go, if you're a whale, go for this. I don't know why you wouldn't because... It's all about legendary tomes and you want legendary tomes if you haven't just bought them for the shop at $100 a piece. Please don't buy them for $100 a piece, even if you are a whale, wait for deals. There's that seven and seven you can get, that's a, it's a $100 pack US. Uh, so, f you know, four of them plus one plus three chickens, no gem, you know, very little gem and energy after that. Maybe makes this a, what, a $20 offer? maybe a $50 offer based on the best deal you can possibly find on this. Um, you know, do the math yourself. Again, if you want to pull, this makes it a little more worth it than just the chance of pulling a Duchess Little Two. If you're just going for Duchess Little Two and you don't care uh, about anything else, man, you got to pull a lot of shards. But if you're like, hey, I'm going to, I'm going to one time no whammy as Darth likes to say, or you just go for the gusto. It is a little bit better than a, than the standard previous chances have been. I still don't recommend it because you're still 
the chances are lower. I would rather have a 12% chance to get a legendary on a double sacred event and then let the chips fall where they may as to which of the 63 legendaries I get. Or a 1% ancient uh, chance on ancients, let the chips fall where they may. One in 63 chance. There are more usable legendaries than unusable. The god tier legendaries, I'd say maybe 20 of them are, are legitimately, you know, would end up on anyone's team. Probably half of them on my team or more. I do have quite a few that I don't use right now, but I'm not comparatively so, I guess. But uh, I would still rather have that percentage chance and then maybe I pull a Bad L, maybe I pull a Draco, maybe I pull a uh, you name it. Rather than just shot in the barrel, I, you know, have a 0.5% chance of picking a legendary and it happens to be Duchess because you got 13, 14% chance of getting her if you do a land of legendary. It, the math just doesn't work for me. I would say more go for this event for the event. And if you happen to get a Dutch, just get on you. I think that's the, the mindset you have to look at. So you have to look at is pulling worth it for this as opposed to the Duchess. And if you get a Duchess, you get it. Uh, if you are an absolute 1% of the game whale and you don't care, pull. Make sure you go to one of our amazing content creators. Ask them to pull for you. It's great content. Everyone loves a good shard pull. Help help the community out by taking your money. Put it in your account. Let someone have access to that account temporarily and they'll pull for you. Um, but for the, for the rest of us, for the average one, I say don't pull. Wait for your double chance. That's your best chance to improve your account. And Duchess Little 2 is not a one-size guaranteed fix the account. And it's still the odds are very low that you're going to get it. So that's about all I have for today. By the way, just because, you know, it's here and I said it, this is awful. This is not a, this is not even a good deal. It's a bad deal. It doesn't take a calculator to know it and to feel it. $30 a shard, the amount of gems and silver is, that's, I guess, 750k from doing my auto turns every night. And that's not including selling off the gear. Uh, not worth it. I just, I can't in my mind fathom the, the, the value there. This, better than this, but also not worth it. You gotta remember, you gotta pull 1400 to get your Duchess. That's 11. <laughs> and you can only purchase one. Never pull, I, I never recommend artifact packs. I think all of them are not worth it. So I won't even talk about that. This Conqueror pack, my, like most of the content creating community, this is an absolute ripoff. It annoys me to no end. Because the $5 pack US or $6.99 for us uh, north of the border was absolutely amazing. And then they doubled it, but they only gave us one Ancient Shard. Now they're tripling it. They're giving us two Ancient Shards, but they're not giving us the extra. They're not giving us six Clown Boskies. They're not giving us, I think this was, uh, I feel like these two numbers or, or the tokens were off. It's not an exact triple. It's not just the ancient shard issue, so it's not as worth it. And that's what annoys me is that you're not offering me the best value pack even once a week. Unless I absolutely, the only time I'd ever consider buying this is if I need that clan boss key because I messed up somehow with on the clan boss. So uh, take that as it will. And I don't even understand. I don't, if I'm, if I don't like this one, sure shit don't like this one. Don't buy this. $39.99 for one shard, 100 gems. You get three chances uh, that's thirty dollars us so that's ninety dollars for three and three hundred and it's ninety nine dollars for some extra gems they're both about the same not worth it i will say typically tomorrow we'll have a better deal if i recall the kind of order of events when they do sacred chart type offer runs but still please don't and that's all i got for you today um you know I really hope that we don't see a whole lot of summons because I don't feel like I feel like the 10 time events with some other combination might be better worth it I do like the fact that they're pairing it with an event that has some really good top tier rewards so if you have been if you are going to pull and you feel like pulling is your is what you want to do this time that's actually not a bad deal it's not a bad offer uh, as far as what you can get out of the event I don't think it's worth the value of the shard is worth more under double than it is under the events but at least it's getting closer with those legendary tomes so if you are hard pressed to get legendary tomes and you've got the shards and you're you're willing to say 
you know, whatever, yeet. Uh, go ahead, man. But uh, my recommendation, stay away. Thank you all. Uh, let's finish by just admiring uh, our demon spawn friend, Duchess Little Two. Uh, this is all about her. Um, that's all I got for you today. I want to thank you for, for joining. Uh, if you like this video, please give me a thumbs up. If you have some comments down below, if my math was wrong, which it probably was, I'm only on half a cup of coffee. Or if you have some, some other comments, concerns, needs, wants, please put it in the comments down below. Please subscribe. Uh, I do this content because I enjoy doing this and I'm hoping to reach people. So again, if you like the content, please leave a like below. I stopped editing my content, so uh, I'm doing one take on everything. So I apologize for a lot of the uh, mm, ums and looking down, looking away. I just, I feel like it's better than editing it and splicing it and then it doesn't make sense and I have to overlay new music and everything. So uh, I got way too picky and it was taking way too long to do content. So this is the way I do it. I hope you like it again. Subscribe, thumbs up, notify, call your friends, call your aunt in Des Moines and have her watch it too. Uh, and most importantly, I want to leave you with this. Uh, please keep your stick on the ice. And for the love of all that is holy, even if you do pull shards, please don't eat yellow snow. Thank you. Good day.